Good morning. I'm Bruce Timok. We're here at Glen Allen High School, and this is a material production class with Woods, Woods One. All right, guys, today we're going to start on our box, and this is the list of things that we're going to do today. The box is four by four by four, which here is our box. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go through the series of taking our wood that is an inch and a quarter thick. The final width or thickness of this is three eighths of an inch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to resaw it on the bandsaw. And what that means is that we take this board and we're going to cut it down the middle so there's two pieces that are five eighths of an inch thick. After we do that, we're going to take to the joiner. On the joiner, we're going to face join it. Do you guys remember what face joining is? Okay, it means that we're going to make one of the side or the wide piece, the face of the board, flat. After we make it face join it, then we're going to go to the planer and plane it down to three eighths of an inch. We're going to work together like we did on the coaster stands where we send it through the planer all together so we don't have to go up and down. The, this is a joint project so we can learn about joints. A joint, um, the weakest joint is a butt joint and a butt joint is just when you take a piece of wood and you butt it up against another one and you glue it. It's not strong. So we're going to take for the edges and do miter joints. Miter joints is an angled joint, which is we're going to do 245 degree angles and it makes a 90 degree. So once we make those, we're going to add strength to it with the feathers. As you can see on this box, okay, there's extra pieces of wood inserted in it. Okay, those are the feathers. And what that does, that adds strength to the joint because you're coming across your miter, adding more wood so you have more surface to put glue. And so it's going to make it stronger. For the bottom, you guys can see that the bottom is flush. Okay, we got that by cutting a rabbit. A rabbit's like the, the picture frame where the, the glass goes in. It's just cut like this. Okay, there again, it cleans up your, um, cleans up the box so you don't see the end grain or the edge grain around the bottom. And that also gives us two surfaces to glue to which creates a stronger joint. All right, does anybody have a question? All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over to the bandsaw. I'm gonna demo cutting this, okay? There is one clean edge. That edge will go to the um, table of the bandsaw. So if you guys can come around over here, and we'll get started. On this, okay, on the bandsaw, I've changed the blade to a one inch blade. As you can see, it's heavier and thicker. Remember when we did the skateboards, we used a thin blade because we were cutting curves. I set up the fence at five eighths of an inch, okay, and this is a feather board. The feather board will take and hold the piece of wood tight to the fence. So it just for safety. And on this, the feather board comes in front of the blade. You don't want to push against the blade because you could have a kickback and that's where things go all haywire. All right, so I'm going to back it up and I make sure that I'm holding it and I'm feeding it. 
We'll use a push stick to get it all the way through. All right, so. From here, the surface that we just cut, we're going to go in and to the joiner and face joint that side. Then once that's done, we're going to take and put the rough side through the planer. All right, and there again, two identical pieces. A lot of times, um, like if I'm making a, a drawer front. I'll resaw it so then I have two pieces that look the same on the drawer. It looks really neat on your piece of furniture. All right, does anybody have a question with this? All right, with face joining again, we want to do the side that's cut that we just resawed, and we're going to use our push pads to push it through the joiner. Remember that from when we did the others, we're not going to push down hard because we want the machine to do the work. And if you push down too hard, you're bogged down the motor and it could cause a kickback. <laughs> going to go until it's flat. There's still a little bit left here. Okay, and now that one's flat. When we resaw it and then we come to the face joiner, it usually only takes two passes to get it flat. Okay, and then from here we're going to go to the planer and plane it. That might not be until tomorrow that we can get to that just because of time. All right, so what you guys can do, we're going to start on the bandsaw. As you can see, we can get two pieces out of each one, so you and someone else will each get a piece. And then we'll come in here and we'll face join it. Once that's done and everybody has it face jointed, then we'll go to the planer and start planing it. Does anybody have a question? All right, you guys have at it. thing to watch for too. You want to see how it's off. You want to make sure it stays tight to the fence. Let me, all right, back it up just a little bit. All right, go ahead, start it.
lift it up. Helping with the back end. Back it up. Come around it. Over closer to the fence. There you go. Pull it. the push stick next to the fence. Keep your hand back. Today we had gotten to one and two, so we resawed the, what did you guys think of the resawing? So it, rather than to take all that wood and throw it in the barrel outside, we we're able to use it and save money. Um, and then we face jointed, like I said, it, it shouldn't have taken you too many passes to take care of that. Tomorrow, We'll come in and we'll start on the planer. We'll plane it down to three eighths of an inch and we will cut one four inch piece off of it and then we'll start cutting the rabbit. And then from there we'll cut the miter joints and we cut, after we glue it together, we'll cut in the feathers. All right, make sure your name's on, all, on your pieces of wood somewhere. Thank you for joining us today here in our Woods One class at Glen Allen High School. I hope you enjoyed it.